All right, this is grade three, module three, lesson three, exit ticket. Okay, so our first question we have, find the value of the unknown right here. Okay, so the unknown, we look at this problem, z equals five times nine. Z is our unknown. We're trying to figure out what does Z mean? What is the value of Z? So Z equals five times nine. We could also say five times nine equals Z. So you may have seen it written like this, five times nine equals blank. So Z is the same thing as blank. They're just replacing that with a letter and it could be any letter, um, but in this problem, it is Z. So, do you know what the answer of 5 times 9 equals? Yeah, it equals 45. So, Z equals 45. Okay, our next problem, find the value of the unknown. 30 divided by 6 equals V. So, our unknown in this problem is V. Remember, it can be any number. We need to figure out what is the value of V. Do we know what 30 divided by 6 is? If you don't know, it's the same thing as six times blank equals 30. Do you know what six times blank equals? Five, good job. So that is our answer. 30 divided by six equals five. Therefore, V equals five. Our next problem, find the value of the unknown. What is our unknown in this problem? Eight times W equals 24. We do not know what W stands for, so that is our unknown. And we are trying to figure out what does W equal? What is the value of W? Okay, eight times blank equals 24. If you don't know this fact, this multiplication fact, you can also divide. This is the same as 24 divided by eight equals blank. And that is three, because eight times three equals 24. Eight, 16, 24. You just count eight three times. So W equals three. Number six, find the value of the unknown. In this problem, our unknown is Y. Y divided by four equals seven. All right, this is the same thing as saying seven times four equals Y. Okay, do we know what seven times four equals? That's the value of y, y equals 28. And our last problem, number seven, Mr. Strand waters his rose bushes for a total of 15 minutes. He waters each rose bush for three minutes. How many rose bushes does Mr. Strand water? He waters blank rose bushes. This is our unknown. How many rose bushes does he water? So what do we know? We know that he waters for 15 minutes total. We know that each bush takes three minutes. So here's a bush, three minutes, three minutes. So let's count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. All right, so now we need to figure out how many bushes does he water? So here's a bush, one, here's a bush, two, three, four, five. So he waters five rose bushes. Our answer for this problem is he waters five rose bushes. If we were going to write this in a multiplication sentence or um, division sentence, we would say 15 divided by three equals Five. This is the same. If we turned it into multiplication, it would be five times three equals 15. All right. Good job, everybody.